Hello, everybody. I definitely want to echo the thanks for being here. I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate the opportunity to hang out with you for a little while and talk about what we do. I'm Thomas. I'm a cloud evangelist with Red Hat, and I want to talk about why Red Hat takes an upstream first attitude and how we work with open source communities. Uh, it used to be that we worked with, with the Linux community, but uh, you may not know that we do a lot outside of just Linux. So I'll talk about what we do, what Red Hat's all about. I'll talk a little bit about some things that we've done to branch out outside of just Linux. Uh, and then I'll talk about how we contribute to and work with various communities uh, and why we do that. So first off, you probably, how many folks when you think of Red Hat think of Linux? How many folks, when you think of Red Hat, you think of software-defined storage? That's a problem. <laughs> so Red Hat is a 100% open source focused company. Everything we do, we do in communities in the open source, the, the broader open source community. We've been an open source provider since 1993. We started with Red Hat Linux back in the day. And we have about 80 offices in about 40 countries around the world and employ about 10,000 open source developers, support folks, folks who do documentation, and then the business people who support the rest of the business. So, you know, accounting and sales and marketing and so on and so forth. We have done a lot over the time that I've been at Red Hat. I've been here for about 11 years. Um, if you look back at some of the things that we've done, some of the acquisitions that we've made, it may surprise you. In 2000, we bought Cygnus, a company that was responsible for doing uh, GCC porting projects for the Linux kernel and, or, uh, uh, the kernel and glibc and things like that. We bought Sestina in 2003 and made HA application clustering available to the open source community. We bought uh, uh, JBoss in 2006 and got into the application services and uh, data management and uh, business rules engine and, and things like that business. Um, we bought Kumranet which is the brains behind KVM. How many folks use uh, OpenStack with KVM? Okay, yep, that's a, that's a Red Hat project that we have made or continued to make open source. We got into the platform as a service market back in 2010 when we bought a company called Makara, uh, which was then rebranded as OpenShift. You can use OpenShift Online or OpenShift Origin, which is a community project. We acquired FuseSource, which is a messaging and integration company in 2012. InkTank, the company behind Ceph. How many folks use Ceph storage in their cloud computing environment, right? That's a Red Hat project. Um, we bought Feed Henry in 2014 to do mobile application platforms and mobile development. Uh, and then we bought Ansible in 2015 for doing orchestration and systems management. Uh, and then we bought 3Scale uh, in 2016 for doing API management. So a lot of things outside of just Linux, right? And the reality is we've spent, just in the time that I've been at Red Hat, we've spent about $2 billion buying software companies and turning around and making them open source projects. So we absolutely 100% believe that making these communities, making, making the, the software available, getting collaboration, getting eyes on code, makes better software for everyone, not just for Red Hat, but for the communities at large. The things that we do to help the community include our open source and standards group does work with the Fedora project, overt.org, the RDO project, Gluster, Ceph, Manage IQ, OpenShift, Apache, JBoss, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We provide infrastructure, we provide staff, we commit code to these upstream projects. And that is incredibly important to the culture at Red Hat that we do everything out in the community. So we're a top contributor to the kernel, glibc, gcc, openstack, jboss.org, gnome.org, x.org, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not saying this to thump my chest and say we're awesome. I'm saying this because we recognize that we are beholden to open source communities for our success. And we owe a debt of gratitude to those open source communities and we are responsible for contributing as much code as we can back to those communities because everyone gets better when we do that. So I'm here to say thank you for participating and thank you especially for letting us be a part of your open source communities. Thanks. <laughs>